Uh, the second category of isomers I'd like to review with you are known as stereoisomers. They have the same connections of uh, elements but different spatial orientations. Uh, and it's broken into geometric isomers and optical isomers. Now geometry could be alkenes or cycloalkenes. So I go after one example, C2H2Cl2. Now this could have one possible isomer and I'll try to give you a 3D version of this. Two chlorines are, are on one side of plane and two hydrogens on the other side. Now, first thing you have to realize is once you have a double bond, you have a sigma and pi, there is no possibility of rotation. So they are fixed in space. If you are on one side of the plane, you are known as cis. So this is cis one, two, you have two chlorine, therefore dichloro, and it's a thin. Now, if you're cis, uh, both on the same side, you tend, you are polar, and in a case uh, for cis, you usually have lower boiling point. Now, if I give you the other isomer of this dichloroethene, one chlorine will go on the other side of the plane and form the other isomer known as trans. You can remember trans just like transatlantic across from each other. So the second one is trans and has exactly the same name, one, two, dichloroethene. And since you're across from each other, you cancel each other's polarity, you're nonpolar. And what happens if you're a polar, if you're a cis, you usually have a uh, higher boiling point because of polarity. In this case, uh, the boiling point for this cis is 60.5 degrees. And for the trans, the boiling point is only 48.7 degrees. Now you have to be careful. Uh, this is usually the case. Cis is polar and has higher boiling point, but there is one or two examples that you might have lower boiling point or melting point and you have to be able to argue your case. So I give you one case like that. I'll give you uh, an alkene that has two carboxylic groups, one on one side of plane, so we call this cis. And um, this is a one, two, three, four carbon member, so it's a butte. On the second uh, carbon, you have your double bond, so butte two in. And on the first and the last, which is number four carbon, you have two carboxylic acids, so it's one comma four dioic acid. Now, if I give you the trans version of that, all I do is bring my carboxylic group on one side and the other carboxylic group on the other side. And we refer to this as trans. Now, um, by what I said before, you should say cis is polar, has higher melting point or boiling point. That is not the case, and you have to be able to argue why not. So when I give you the melting point of the cis, uh, it happens to be 130 degrees. And when we give you the melting point of the trans, it happens to be 287 degrees Celsius. And the question is why? What happens here is you form some intermolecular bonding, intra rather, uh, not intermolecular. But let's see what is that intermolecular. So when you put one of the carboxylic acid, if I open it into and the other one, These two um, oxygens uh, and hydrogen, due to electronegativity, they form an internal hydrogen bonding. Remember, this is partially negative, partially positive, and this is known as intramolecular H bonding. Therefore, it has lower boiling point and melting point. 
So you have to be careful. Now I also want to give you a cyclic version of a cis and trans. You could have a cyclopropane and you could have two chlorines attached to different carbons. One chlorine could be up here, one hydrogen is down here. Chlorine up, hydrogen down. Now for, for cyclo also there is no possibility of rotation, so this is cis. One, two, on the first and the second carbon you have chlorines, dichloro, and then you cyclopropane. And they're definitely polar, definitely higher uh, boiling point, melting point. There is no internal hydrogen bonding. And if I give you the trans version of it, all I have to do is change position of one of the chlorines. So, this is trans. 1, 2, dichloro, cyclopropane. Next thing to discuss is optical isomers and that I will do on the next slide.